Pray that again, if they come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, there's only one doctrine. There's only one truth. There's a hundred percent truth. Not oh, this this camp has this camp has um forty here. This camp camp has another twenty. What's that? Sixty. This ha this camp has another um forty, which what equals a hundred? No, 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 no. That's confusion. That's ultimate confusion. Okay. And it says, receive him not into thy house, neither bid him Godspeed. So men have already done this. Certain men in Great Millstone, I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna put out names, but it's all gonna be revealed in time. Because men now have to see this this the thing about it. The beautiful thing about when you tell the truth, you don't need to backtrack, you don't need to cover up, you don't need to do that. You know, you don't need to come to camp and cover things up. The elder apostles see what's going on. The elder apostles of Great Millstone see that's going on. And that's why the first thing. If you're in a camp, you need to examine the men that are around you first because it always starts in-house. Always. So you may be asking me, how comes I don't really click with certain men in my camp? Well, maybe someone in the camp may be teaching a different doctrine. Or a few individuals in the camp may be teaching a different doctrine. You better wake up and, wake up and smell the coffee. Verse 11. And guess what? No matter how much you try to demonize the prophets of the Lord, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Okay? Satan. Okay? Because a lot of men, Satan's dealing with them. Yahweh ain't dealing with them. Verse 11. For he that biddeth him, God speeds, is a partaker of his evil deeds. So it says it here. If you're, if you're, if you're saying, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, Brakafam, you're, you're blessing a man, because that's a blessing. You're blessing a man. That's evil in his deeds, that's evil in his work. Okay? So you, you don't have to, and this is, this is why it's so, it's, so, it's so beautiful to understand the scriptures. So now if a man comes to you and say, how comes you ain't being brotherly? Because this man's teaching a different doctrine. I've got to keep him at arm's length. Why? Because the scripture says it. Okay? The scriptures say all these things. Everything I'm saying, we come back up by the scriptures. Everything. Nothing that we're making up. Okay? One doctrine, one mind, one faith. Because a, a, a man would teach, a man would bring that scripture out and say, see, we're supposed to be of one mind. We're supposed to be of one faith. That only applies to those that are teaching that same doctrine. It's not applying to those that are outside of the body. You're teaching another doctrine. You're outside of the, bo of the body. Okay? You're actually outside of the body. You could. Guess what? You could still be in a camp and still be outside of the body. That's deep. Okay, let's quickly go to Psalms 23. Because I want to expound on that. This is Psalms 23. And go straight to verse 4. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. So this America, this beginning with America and different parts of the world. It's a valley. America, so in America. America is a valley, a very what, a low land. It's a valley of the shadow of death. So that's how so much evil happens everywhere, but so much, a lot of evil happens in America. Most of the witchcraft happens in America. Why? Because it's the valley of the shadow of death. A shadow follows you. And I will fear no, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. That's that faith. Thy power, thy rod, and thy staff, they comfort me. What's the rod and the staff? This word, and it comforts us. Come on now. That prepares the table before the presence of my enemies. Okay? So... That table, what you eat on that table. Okay? And when we're teaching this word, it's being presented upon what? A table. And what did you have what did um David say? There's a curse, the curse of the wicked. Let their table become a snare and a stumbling block to them. So those that are not in the doctrine, their table's gonna be what? Become a snare and a stumbling block stumbling block for them. And what should they what should have been for their good? Let it become what? <laughs> evil to them you see how the Lord works okay and I want to say Yahab by Shem Yahab Shem Rakata for bugging these individuals yes that's good because they never came in the right mindset okay thou prepares a table before the presence of my enemies so we're eating and our enemies are outside of that table they're looking at us eat okay that anointed my head with oil 
Okay, which what? King David, what? He was anointed with the oil. Okay, by Samuel. Okay, my cup runneth over. And that anointing is also the Holy Spirit. We have an anointing to know all things. It tells you that in John, an unction. So if you've been given an unction to know all things, you've been what? Given an anointing by the Holy Spirit, by Yahweh Shai. Okay. That means you were going to know the 100% truth. Not some. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Lord willing, Lord Ratazar, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So part of dwelling in that house is teaching the right doctrine. You're not teaching the right doctrine. You're, not, you're no longer in the house of the Lord. You're in the congregation of the dead. Okay? The congregation of the blind. Okay? Bear me just a minute. That's just how it is. Serious business. When you're teaching this truth, it has to be taught the right way by the apostles, the right way. Bear me just a minute. These lessons, these lessons have to be done, have to be done. Very imperative that we do these lessons because there's younger brothers that maybe and sisters that are just waking up and they may not really sure who's teaching the truth, but really it's Yahweh that's going to guide them in the right way, you know. And He will show you because when I first heard this truth, I wasn't, I wasn't, um, I didn't go directly to the elder apostles, I was listening to what HODC, okay, what's his name, Barak, okay, HODC and 14 Streets Israelites. But then I started to see particular things that were off. Particular things they were teaching that were just off. Then I think, hold on a minute. Then I went to Great Millstone and I think, hold on a minute. All right, there's, there's two individuals teaching two different things. Some are telling the truth and someone ain't. So that's where you've got to be sick. And this is, this is before I was even in the truth. So if I had that discernment then, how more so, how more so now that discernment's supposed to be on a high level of who's teaching the truth? Because I want to say this as well, you've got individuals that are, they ain't got Great Millstone on their name, but they follow that same doctrine of Great Millstone and Shalawam to you. That's, you can Godspeed them. And you also, you've got individuals that are in GMS, but they're veering away from the doctrine and they veered away from the doctrine. They're bugged out. Them you don't bid Godspeed. Because you're going to have righteous men, elect men in what? IUIC. You're going to have elect men in GOCC. You're going to have elect men in all these groups. All these groups. Even in ISUPK, you're going to have elect men in these groups that come out of that madness. Okay? So bear me just a minute. See if I can find it. We're going to go to Isaiah. 55. And just by reading these scriptures, this is how you identify who's a true prophet and who's a false prophet. Yeah, you should know them by their fruits. Okay, what they're teaching. You're going to know. Isaiah 55. And let's go straight to... um. Am I on the right one? Bear me just a minute. No, 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 that's not it, that's not it. Would you bear me just a minute, brethren? Patience is a virtue. It may be in Deuteronomy. It's a bit more difficult to look for some of these scriptures because pages are missing. Ah, Deuteronomy 32. We're going to go to Deuteronomy 32, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Deuteronomy 32. Again, we're going to go to Deuteronomy, what's it, 32 and... The right one, who's only 32. And it says, Give air. Okay, give air. Listen up, take heed, O ye heavens, and I will speak. Okay, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. And that shows you what? Why did it say earth? Heavens, because this word is being spread throughout the globe. My doctrine, whose doctrine? The Heavenly Father's doctrine, which was given to what? Yahweh Shai, and which was what? Given to his, his disciples. Okay? My doctrine. Okay, this is not 
bear me just a minute. You do know this is not our own doctrine that we just came out up with thin air. Men want to make up their own doctrine. Excuse me. Okay, my doctrine shall drop as the rain. Okay, like when, when rain drops. Okay. My speech shall distill. Okay, you go into that word distill. When rain, what does it do? It distills, trickle, flood, stream, gush out. As a small rain upon the tender herb. Have you seen when um, it rains, what happens with these um, trees? It distills upon what? Some of these leaves and it drops. Is this likened unto what? The Lord's doctrine. Okay, distills, to gush, to drop, to stream. Okay, as dew. Okay, the heavenly dew which comes up from the clouds. Okay, as the small rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass. So it's going to spread. Because I will publish the name of the Lord. And that's another important thing as well. So like, you can't forget the name. The name is important. You've got individuals saying, it doesn't matter about the name. You can call him Yoshua. You can call him Jesus. You can call him Yoshua ben Yosef. Okay, before, before I woke up to this truth, that's what I used to think his name was, Yoshua. But that's not his name. His name is Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. Okay. There's so, see, there's so many, there's so many stumbling blocks. If... You're not grounded in this truth. So many. That's why you have to be grounded. Rooted. Okay. Because I'll publish the name of the Lord Jehovah Shai. Okay. We don't just say the Most High. And we don't say the Most High in Christ. We say Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. You even got men that have a problem of doing that. Okay. You can't just do titles saying Our Father. The Most High. It's the same. See again that's how you can identify who's who. Our Father. Okay. And Yahabashah said, think not to say he is your father, because I could raise, I could raise up uh, stones to be what? The seed of Abraham. Not all, not all those are, 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 that say that of Abraham are of Abraham. Okay? There's a seed, this is spiritual. Okay? And it says, he is the rock, his work is perfect, and his ways are judgment and the power of truth. Without iniquity, just and right is he. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Okay? Bear me just a minute. So the doctrine, it remains the same. It doesn't change. Okay? Men change. Men change. The doctrine doesn't change. Okay? It's the demons that have um, influenced you to teach another doctrine. Okay? The doctrine remains the same. If you teach, a do if you teach another doctrine, the problem is it wasn't with the doctrine, it was you. It was that you changed your heart, your mind, okay? You accepted them demons, okay? Bear me just a minute. Get John 6. That's why you pray, pray for the sermon. If there's something you're not sure about, pray for the sermon. And the Lord will reveal it to you. Bear me just a minute. See if we can find it. Because when Yahabasha was on earth, was he was, was he just was he just accepting anybody? The zealots, they were doing their own thing. The zealots, they were doing their own thing, and they were carnal. Okay, the zealots, most of them, they were carnal. You had the zealots and you had the Sadducees. They all believed in something different. And you had the Pharisees. Some righteous, some wicked. Because you're always going to get that. You're always going to have the wicked and, and the, the righteous. And the wicked among the righteous. But again, all these individuals, Yahabashah was not given into nothing that they were doing. He wasn't given into their doctrine. Okay, he stuck with what he stuck with. His own doctrine, bear me just a minute. Bear me just a minute. See if we can find it. And that's the way it's always been. Always. But I'm, I'm saying, if, if, if you're feeling confused and you're watching other camps, stop watching them until you've mastered the truth. Okay? 
Well, I don't want to say slack is slack. I don't want to say mastered because we're always learning. But until you have a better understanding, you shouldn't be watching these other camps. John 6 and 15. Let's start at 14. Now when the now about the midst of the feast, Yahweh went up into the temple. Okay, and taught. Okay. Which is now what temple synagogue. Okay. And taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How know if this man's letters have and never learned? So how how does he know all this? How does he know this this all this doctrine? He 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 wasn't raised up in how we were raised up. Okay? He never he never he wasn't taught the way we were taught, and that was the Pharisees. That's the mindset they had. Again, they were carnal. But hold on a minute, it's Yahweh Shai. Okay? The son of the heavenly father. Okay? And the doctrine is from him. Because the, the Pharisees, they were all about the letters of the law The letters of the law The letters of the law When Yahweh Shai, he is the, the law Okay, he is wisdom Yahweh Shai answered them and said My doctrine is not of mine Okay So Yahweh Shai is making it clear And that's humility as well He's letting them know This is not just my doctrine it's, it's the heavenly fathers that gave this to me But his that sent me Okay Yahweh's if any man will do his will So if you're teaching another doctrine You're not doing the will of Yahweh Shai You're doing the will of Satan he, Any man that will do his will He shall know of the doctrine So if you're doing Yahweh Shai's will The Heavenly Father's will You're going to know of the doctrine If you're not, you're not going to know of the doctrine Because you're doing the work deceitfully So the Lord's going to blind you Okay Whether it be of the Most High Or whether I speak of myself And that's another thing you've got to watch out for Individuals that teach the truth But they're only speaking of themselves or speaking of the world Why? Because they're of the world He that speaketh of himself You've got to be careful of that That's why when I do lessons I don't really like to go into um, Nothing's wrong with testimonies But if an individual's doing a video And it's just about him, 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 him You've got to watch out for an individual like that Okay? He that speaketh of himself Seek of his own glory You've got a lot of glory hunters out here And that also goes into vain glory You've got men that would push this truth To fit their own agenda Okay? But he that seeketh his glory Yahweh Shai's that sent him the same is true and no unrighteousness in him okay did not Moses give you the law which was sent from the heavenly father and yet none of you keep the law okay and if you're not, if you're not keeping a the doctrine then you're not keeping the law because the doctrine is a part of the law and the doctrine is the pre the law is also the, what the precepts the precepts are laws as well why because it tells you how to what teach also and the things that are about to happen okay read Proverbs read Ecclesiastes read all these things it's a law within itself why are you go about to kill me? So they were hypocrites. And they were trying to what? Take Yahweh Shai out because they weren't right themselves. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Stick to what you've been taught by the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Do not veer from it. Because many have veered from it. And now they're just out there, bugged out. And guess what? You could even um you you may even um What's the word? Be excommunicated. You may even be teaching by yourself as long as you teach in the doctrine. Because some people say, what? Why is he teaching by himself? He must be wicked. No, 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 no. You've got brothers that teach by themselves on the highways and byways. It doesn't mean they're wicked. You have some that are teaching by themselves because they were kicked out because they were teaching another doctrine. And you have those that they had to leave other camps because them camps were corrupted. But they were still teaching the doctrine. So that's, they were righteous. Okay, just so brothers don't get it confused Because you're going to have those that try to demonize you And say, why is he teaching by himself? No, 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 no And I want to let you know this Why I'm teaching by myself? Okay, first of all, because the spirit Yahweh Shai put the spirit on me to do that Because not everybody can do that And the scriptures say, offer your body as a living sacrifice So that's the reason And second of all, because there's a lot of stuff going on In camps, even in Great Millstone Which the spirit's going to reveal it in due time not every brother is a brother And you've got brothers in caps Teaching different doctrines Behind closed doors Bringing in damnable heresies That's another lesson That's, that's another lesson in itself Okay And there's a problem If you're by yourself And you're in the spirit And things are flowing Then you Because we, I've always said this When you're around Other men that are supposed Supposed to be in the truth That's supposed to ignite your fire there ain't supposed to be an off energy So if there's an off energy Then that, that means there's somebody in the camp That may be teaching something that's off 
So again, this is why men must separate themselves as well. Not because a man's wicked. Okay, there's, diff there's different things that go on in this truth. 